Hey Kira the Can, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are trying new products as we do often on my channel. And today we're trying DBD Doo or Girls with Curls, whatever you want to call it. And everybody been talking about the DBD Doo gel, but when I went into my beauty supply store, they didn't have the gel. They had everything else except for the gel. So I was like, I can try that now and then try to the gel later, right? Yeah. So what I got is the curl shampoo and the deep conditioner. And since they didn't have like a gel, I just got the curl defining cream and we were just gonna work with it. I finally took all of the braids down and now what I am gonna go do is I'm gonna go pre-detangle before because I know I got a whole bunch of shed hairs and stuff and I don't want that to interfere with the shampoo at all so I'm gonna go pre-shampoo for a little bit then I'll come back and use the dippity do and now it's time for the shampoo and I noticed something while I was detangling my hair all of these on the back of them most of the time you see 12 months right this says 24 months that means i get to keep it for two years after opening it the first thing is the curl shampoo um it is a gentle curl cleanser that seals in moisture and boosts shine it is silicone free sulfate free paraben free color safe and not tested on animals it is 13.5 ounces and i think it was 7.99 at my beauty supply store but this is the consistency if it comes out ooh, it's like a milky color and it's really runny and the smell oh smells like some kind of fruity candy ooh, ooh. we all know I am a sucker for a smell I like it so we're gonna try oh it's kind of thick mmm okay My hair wasn't that detangled wasn't that tangled because I detangled beforehand so and the curls are coming back nicely and I'm just parting it so I can make sure I get all of my scalp clean because it seems as if if I don't do that lately my scalp will not be clean and we do not want to style our hair on dirty hair so parting it is okay so i um already used the shampoo and i can see where they say it added shine because i see a little sheen or something on my hair so that's great um it cleaned my hair which is also great and now it's time for the deep treatment as it as they call it it says it's supposed to defreeze your hair it's supposed to nourish detangle and restore dry damaged curly hair it's also sulfate paraben color safe and not tested on animals um it's also 8.5 ounces and it's, it was also 7.99 so it's time to try this deep treatment on my hair okay so it also says this coil cushion cream treatment instantly restores suppleness to parts dry damaged hair with natural moisturizers of avocado oil coconut oil shea butter and vitamin e and it says you only have to leave it on for three to five minutes and you use weekly or as needed okay so let's see 
what this deep conditioner or deep treatment is all about. I can't tell you what that scent is, but this is the consistency. It is very, very ready. So, I feel like it should have a lot of slip with it. So, I'm going to spray some water on my hair. Ooh, it's kind of thick and runny at the same time, but that's what it's looking like. So, applying it to the hair. My hair didn't really feel that great after the shampoo. I, when I was first applying the deep conditioner, I felt the difference. It didn't feel that good on my hair, so yeah, that's that. And this deep treatment going on. It doesn't, you know, give me instant, I think they say it's suppleness or anything like that. It just feels like something going onto my hair. So, we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. So, I'm going to split it up and see if I can detangle with it. can which is great it just takes a little time which is okay it's still pretty quick compared to others so I feel pretty good about it hmm. I feel like my hair will feel better after I take off the plastic cap after I let it sit for a minute because right now it feels like a 5 out of 10 right now. It's, it's okay, but it could be better. But I'm just going to continue to put the deep conditioner all over my hair. And then I'll come back when it is washed out. the deep conditioner in my hair feels pretty okay like not nothing spectacular but it don't feel bad as it was feeling after the shampoo so it's okay now I'm uh, sectioning my hair off so I can apply the um, cream hopefully the cream is more moisturizing than um, both the other products so, you know, my hair can last for a minute. Hopefully. Um, so it is the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls D Frizz Curl Defining Cream, Nourishes, Controls, and Defines. It is also sulfate, paraben, alcohol free, it's color safe, and it has not been tested on animals. And it is 4.2 ounces 
and it was also $7.99 and I just I must say the packaging so cute like so cute and it says um, it is infused with nourishing coconut oil shea butter and sick amino acids to shape silky and enhance each curl for lasting definition and they say for thicker coarser hair concentrate the cream on your ends okay so let's see how this is gonna go I'm gonna whip my hair down some I am kind of scared because this has been going you know it can go either way and this is the texture of it and it looks like some type of gel or something because it's like almost um, see-through so there's that and applying it to my hair it doesn't feel any different or anything and my curls are like semi-defined but not too much and we all know the back of my hair it takes a little more to define because I have different textures in my hair and the back of my hair is 4C so it needs a little more TLC so it can you know define better but I'd say it's pretty good not not too bad I was say Somebody at work got me sick and it's very upset. Okay, for this one, the shampoo, I feel like the shampoo is a shampoo. It did what it was supposed to do. It cleansed my hair, but they said it was a gentle curl cleanser and it wasn't gentle on my hair. It, it thoroughly, thoroughly cleansed my hair. Like, it cleansed it a whole, whole lot, which is what you know I was going for after a protective style but since it cleaned so much it was hard for the deep conditioner to do it was hard for the deep conditioner to actually do its job like I couldn't detangle with the deep conditioner too well but you know I could I ended up, you know, finishing my hair or whatever, but the deep conditioner, if I remember correctly, it was, I think, moisturizing, but the detangling, it wasn't the best, so it kind of put me off of it. And lastly, the um, curl defining cream. Um, my right now my hair it's a week later and my hair it don't feel like soft or anything it's just regular so I don't think but it also doesn't say it's supposed to moisturize your hair it says it's supposed to control and define so maybe I was asking for a little too much but I mean I also feel like the reason why they didn't work that well for my hair is because 
out like I said it was right after protective style and when you come right after protective style you're supposed to use very very moisturizing products because your hair has not been well my hair has not been washed or anything like that during the time that it was up in the protective style so yeah so I feel like if I try these again maybe I'll like them maybe I don't know yet but I might try them again later. And if I do, I'll try to update you guys. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. But before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And click that little bell button so you never miss the next time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.